Hi everybody, welcome to our lesson for today. In our experiment, the duck was resilient because it didn't absorb any of the water or feelings. They just washed off and it didn't bother the duck. Today, we're going to learn about how letting something just wash off you can make you more resilient. I'm going to read you two stories, one about Rosie Resilience and one about Kathy Crumble. While I'm reading the stories, I want you to think about what we did last week with our green light thinking and red light thinking. Which of the characters is using green light thinking and which one is using red light thinking? Here's Rosie's story. Reading Rosie's story, I want you to think about how she stays calm and how she speaks to people that annoy her. Let's hear about Rosie. When someone annoys Rosie, she takes three deep breaths to help her stay calm. She never makes something out to be worse than it really is. Rosie speaks to the person who has upset her in a soft voice explaining calmly how she feels and what she wants. When something happens that could upset her, Rosie talks about it with a friend and that helps her to stay calm. Sometimes Rosie goes for a walk or reads a book when she is feeling angry worried or down and this helps her stay cool calm and collected. Rosie knows that her green light way of thinking helps her to be resilient. Sometimes Rosie has to do some hard work for the teachers. It's really hard work and not even a bit fun. Some of the other kids get upset and angry but Rosie resilient stays cool calm and collected. She knows that sometimes at school you have to do things that are not easy or fun and she calmly thinks to herself, I'd prefer not to have to do this hard work, but I know it will help me learn. I can do it. So that's Rosie's story. Now let's listen to Kathy Crumble's story. Kathy Crumble is not very resilient. When something happens to Kathy, like not being chosen to be the leader or making lots of mistakes in her writing, she can get very, very angry or very, very upset. Her face goes bright red and she yells, bursts into tears or just covers her face and sulks in the corner. Sometimes when she has a test at school, she gets very, very anxious and worried and this stops her from doing her best. Kathy Crumble uses red light ways of thinking like I can't stand this and I'm so stupid and everyone is mean to me and I can't do this. If Kathy looked carefully at her red light thinking she would discover that it's not very helpful and that it stops her from staying calm when things go wrong. If Kathy's red light thinking that stops her from being resilient also when she gets very upset she doesn't know what to do. Hmm. Not sure if I'd want to be like Kathy. Now, what I'd like you to do for today's activity is, the first thing I'd like you to do in your book is to draw a picture of Rosie Resilience. Then, I'm going to read you the story of Rosie Resilience one more time and I'd like you to write down four different ways that helps Rosie be resilient. It might be something she does, it might be something she thinks, or it might be something she says that helps her be more resilient. Okay? Once you've drawn, drawn your picture, come back and press play and I'll read Rosie's story again. Okay, here we go. Look out for those things that Rosie does. When someone annoys Rosie resilience, she takes three deep breaths to help her stay calm. She never makes something out to be worse than it really is. Rosie speaks to the person who has upset her in a soft voice, explaining calmly how she feels and what she wants. When something happens that could upset her, Rosie talks about it with a friend and that helps her to stay calm. Sometimes she goes for a walk or reads a book when she is feeling angry, worried or down, and this helps her to stay cool, calm and collected. Rosie knows that her green light way of thinking helps her to be resilient. Sometimes Rosie has to do some hard work for her teachers. It's really hard work and not even a bit fun. Some of the other kids get upset and angry, but Rosie resilient stays cool, calm and collected. 
She knows that sometimes at school you have to do things that are not easy or fun and she calmly thinks to herself, I prefer not to have to do this hard work, but I know it will help me learn. I can do it. Good on you, Rosie. All right, so when you've got your four ideas, make sure you write them down. You might like to draw pictures of as well. Some of these ideas might help you during the week when you might feel a bit like Kathy Crumble. Remember to use your green light thinking. See you later.